Prince Harry's return to the UK to be with his father, King Charles III, during the monarch's battle with cancer has captured the attention and concern of people worldwide. The 38-year-old Duke of Sussex flew into the UK on Tuesday, putting aside past grievances to support his father during this challenging time. King Charles, 75, has taken the difficult decision to postpone all public duties after receiving the devastating news of his cancer diagnosis. He has begun medical treatment at Buckingham Palace, surrounded by his team of specialist doctors, though details of his diagnosis and treatment plan remain private. According to reports by Express, the reunion between Prince Harry and King Charles has sparked hope among royal commentators that it could lead to a healing of the strained relationship between father and son. There is also speculation that Harry may seize the opportunity to mend his fractured bond with his elder brother, Prince William, during his time back in the UK. However, Prince Harry has faced criticism for choosing not to bring his children, Archie and Lilibet, with him to visit their grandfather. Royal expert Charles Ray voiced his opinion on GB News, suggesting that the presence of the young children could have brought comfort to King Charles in his time of need. Ray emphasized the importance of family support, especially during challenging moments like facing a cancer diagnosis. He lamented the absence of baby Lilibet, noting that her presence could have been a source of joy for the king amid his health struggles. Ray also commented on the absence of Meghan Markle, Harry's wife, suggesting that her presence could have offered additional solace to the monarch. Speculation abounds regarding Meghan's future interactions with the royal family, particularly given her and Harry's decision to step down from their royal duties in 2020. The couple now resides in California and has been vocal about their experiences and grievances with the royal family in interviews. King Charles has faced significant challenges since ascending to the throne following the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, in September. In November, he was subjected to a public incident where he was pelted with eggs during a walkabout in York. Additionally, his coronation ceremony, initially scheduled for a grand affair, has been delayed to June 2024 due to logistical challenges amidst his health concerns. Now, the king must confront the daunting prospect of cancer treatment while continuing his royal duties. Recent images of him looking visibly frail and relying on a walking stick have added to concerns about his health. Despite these challenges, King Charles has received an outpouring of support from well-wishers in the UK and across the Commonwealth. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak expressed the nation's thoughts and prayers for King Charles and his family, while leaders from Australia and Canada also sent messages of support. Buckingham Palace has requested respect for the king's medical privacy, promising further updates only if his condition changes. As Britain's hope for Prince Harry's return to lift his father's spirits, the potential for reconciliation within the royal family offers a glimmer of hope during this difficult time. The unity and support of family may serve as a source of strength for King Charles as he confronts his cancer diagnosis while fulfilling his royal obligations.